today's project get this pipe put in that ditch and out of our hair so we've got the 270 and the 330 sitting here I've got our T300 Bobcat on a trailer and we're gonna put that pipe in today so right now my uncle Jamie's reshaping where the uh, culvert's gonna sit with his 330 Itachi because the 270 won't reach that far but the 330 will so he's getting out some chunks of concrete that are in the way and he's gonna make uh, shape a nice bed for this pipe to sit in but first we got to put number nine limestone in the bottom and that's what the pipes gonna bed on and then we're gonna backfill the pipe most of the way with the number nine limestone so as soon as he gets that dug out, we're going to get some stone coming in, get it in the hole, and uh, hopefully get this pipe in today. I'll be happy to get it in. It's been a long, drug out deal, and it's not been our fault. Just water's been high and a lot of rain, and this ditch actually drains another county, and there's a lot of ditch that feeds into this ditch, so it's always full of water. And the velocity of the water coming through here just gets wild. So like earlier, I was trying to get a road close sign that some kids dropped in the ditch. And uh, I had the 270. And I uh, accidentally knocked the road close sign a little farther in the stream. And away it went. And luckily I found it. I was able to get it out without hurting it. Just by luck, one of the... One of the slats of the road clothes sign got caught between the uh, bottom of the boom and the top of the bucket, uh, right there between the bucket ears, and uh, I was able to get the sign out without destroying the sign. Dad's strength is like, I bet you couldn't do that again. I said, you're probably right. Probably just mangle it up into a ball of crap the next time if I ever had to do it again. But So... <sighs> We're trying to carve over to that side a little bit because we want to change the angle of this pipe of hair in this ditch because as you can see, the, the pipe was angled the wrong direction the last time and it washed the bank out on that side. That's why all that concrete backfills in there to armor that bank. So we're gonna straighten this pipe out a little bit so that it doesn't cause that. And since I slant cut the end of that pipe, it'll line up with the stream on that side better and the pipe there will be no need for the pipe to be crooked in the hole so he's going to get that carved off and then we're going to get us a pipe bedded and see what we can uh see if we can get her knocked out today uh this pipe's 75 foot long it's uh roughly about seven foot tall inside and i believe uh width wise at its widest it's around 10 foot so it is a elliptical pipe, meaning that it's uh, kind of an oval. It's not a round pipe. They uh, make them round. They actually rivet them together round, and then they have a big press that smashes them to uh, make them into an oval. So kind of a cool process, the way they're built. So anyways, we're going to get this finished up, and then we're going to get this pipe put in. So we're getting ready to uh, rig up for our uh, our lift here. Um, Jamie and I are going to do it together because it's so long a pipe. So we're going to get it uh, chained up and get her moving. Okay.
parked because of a rough spot. Now you need to go that way here. exciting really exciting it's in well it's in and it's uh, three inches lower on uh, that end which is okay oh it did drop so now it's in level so that's pretty damn good digging on Jamie's part just to get her right off the bat so it makes life a lot easier if you got a good guy in a hoe that knows what they're doing when they're digging because they'll get her dead on to begin with. So uh, now we're only a half inch difference, which that's acceptable, totally acceptable. So uh, time to get her buried. That went smooth. Tim's going to go for a final measurement on that end to make sure we're okay. And then as soon as he gives me the okay, Start backfilling now. Jamie's going to hold it for me with the 330. I'm going to get up here on the level spot and start scooping stone on it. 